from the Skanda Upanishad. What is not innate appears as if one's own because of the swelling of the inner organ, the mind. By the destruction of the ahantakarana, Hari abides as only consciousness. As I also abide as consciousness, I am unborn. What is higher than that? All that is different is inert and like a dream vanishes. He who indeed is the seer of the conscious chit and the inert jada is Achitya, imperishable, Vishnu, and is of the form of knowledge, Jnana. He alone, indeed, is Mahadeva. He alone, indeed, is Mahahari. He alone is the light of all lights. He alone is Parameshwara. He alone indeed is Parabrahma. That Brahman I am. There is no doubt of this. Jiva is Shiva. Shiva is Jiva. That Jiva is Shiva alone. Bound by husk, it is rice, Paddy. By becoming free from the husk, it is rice. Thus, just so, the jiva is bound. If karma is destroyed, he is Sada Shiva, always Shiva. So long as he is bound by the bond, he is Shiva. Liberated from the bond, he is Sara Shiva. Salutations to Shiva, to the nature of Vishnu, the all pervading one. Salutations to Vishnu, to the nature of Shiva. The heart of Shiva is Vishnu. The heart of Vishnu is Shiva. As Vishnu is the nature of Shiva, Shiva is the nature of Vishnu. As I see no difference, no distance, no exterior or interior, Therefore, for me, our well-being and long life, as within, there may be no differences, just so is it with Shiva and Keshava and happiness. The body is declared to be the divine temple. He, the Jiva, is alone Shiva. One should abandon the cast-off, 
useless remains of ignorance and should worship with the conviction, he am I. The revelation of non-difference is knowledge. Meditation is the mind having no dwelling place supportless, free from attachment to sense objects. The ablution is abandonment of the dust of the mind. Purity is the restraint of the senses. The immortal nectar of Brahman should be drunk. One should go about begging alms for the care of the body. One devoted to the one alone, having been in a solitary place, should dwell devoid of duality. Thus should the wise one conduct himself. He thus will attain liberation. For the holy supreme abode, well-being and long life, Salutations thus of the nature of Brahma, Narayana, and Shankara, Narasimha, the Lord of the Gods. Bestowing grace, unthinkable, unmanifested, infinite, immutable, the self of the Vedas, Brahman, the innate, the constant, is known. That Vishnu, the supreme abode, the wise see always, like with the eye extended to heaven. By that stretching out of the sages, joyfully, wonderfully awake, is kindled the supreme abode or state of Vishnu. Thus, this is the instruction about Nirvana. Thus is the instruction of the Veda. Thus is the Upanishad.
Well, 